right, Tim Tollefson, how are you doing, my friend? You're just, what, 48 hours removed from your last event at the uh, Mammoth Trail Fest? Tell us how you're feeling right now. <laughs> feeling amazing. It, uh, it, it almost feels like a dream. Uh, you know, it, it was a dream for a long time, and now it feels like a dream after it happened. But uh, I couldn't be happier. Tell us when the first kernel of this idea came to be, when you envisioned not only one event, mind you, but this whole weekend of, what was it, three, four days of, mm -hmm. of running, of uh, people gathering, community, films. Tell us when the genesis of this idea first took root. The first thought of like having a mammoth trail race, uh, that was back in 2015 after our first CCC. Uh, I think just being over there and it, it, like, kind of recognizing a lot of the parallels between our communities. Uh, I just thought like, it'd be so cool to have that same thing where I live. And, and so I started talking to some of the higher ups on the mountain at that point, and they, they were following online my exploits over there. Like they'd stay up all night and they're like, that would be cool. Why don't we have something? And I looked at them, I was like, you guys have the keys to the kingdom. So why don't we? And uh, um, so I think that was the genesis. And then over the years, it just started morphing into you know, appreciating what other people have done, like, you know, Mike Foote over at the, at the rut, you know, and they're just like really cool events and kind of like, you know, taking inspiration from them and, and Broken Arrow and, and uh, just other European races I've been to and just kind of like weaving in my favorite little pieces into like something that like would feel really mammoth-esque um, and kind of have flair to our own community. So I, I'd say it's just morphed over the last seven years. Is that how long you've been working on this for? Um, not a, well, to do, do, do like little bits. I mean, it was definitely like a, like my fourth or fifth side hustle, you know, it was, uh, like I, I'd tinker around on it, but I would say it didn't really start to become a priority until 2019. And then, uh, kind of the thought of, okay, like this should happen. And I started having conversations with people, you know, that would be able to make it like actually get off the ground here locally. Um, and, and then I, we were actually going to have an event in 2020 and, and we were going to do a couple of races, but um, the pandemic shut us down like most people, which was actually a good thing because I wasn't ready. Um, I was still working full time, training full time. And then like, like in my mind, I thought, oh, I could also race direct. And foolishly, it, uh, <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm thankful for the pandemic in that sense that it put us on hold. Otherwise, we would have been uh, woefully un like underprepared and or ill prepared and uh, um, overwhelmed. So I think, uh, and then uh, we got so we got postponed. And then in 2021, I like started kind of like taking a little step out of my PT job to like focus on it more. And um, but kind of a similar thing. I I wasn't committed fully, and I. Then we got shut down because of um, a fire up in Tahoe and the smoke uh, kept us at bay and the forest closed in California. So it was almost like a second. I mean, it was a bummer because two years in a row, we had this like thought, oh, we could actually do it this year. And for the second year in a row, it didn't happen, but I also wasn't really ready. Um, and so this third try, I actually basically, I mean, you know, I stepped away from my job so I could <clears> dedicate <throat> full time to it. And I mean, for the last like seven months, it's been full go. Like Lindsay's like, I can't wait till this is over because then I can have you back. And I'm like, well, <laughs> I'm already thinking about next year, but uh, it, <laughs> I, I just, I recognize that it, it takes that amount of attention um, and care because like the runners deserve it. Yeah. So the universe kind of conspired to make this happen when it should have happened. I'm also curious now that you have a few hours in the rear view, what were some of the biggest surprises or biggest challenges that you may or may not have foreseen or that it just spiraled out of control, you know? Um, I'm sure there are many, that, but is there <laughs> one or two that immediately come to mind? Yeah, that uh, even though I put in, you know, an immense amount of prep and, uh, you know, work on it, I it, like maybe the festival side of it. I, I was like, oh, like how hard is like, panels and movies and talks and demos like you just like make a schedule and like let people run and then uh Kara uh, who works for the mountain in, in the operations team and you've met her she uh she sat me down and was like who's gonna do like she listed 30 different things like you know from like just hitting play to like you know <laughs> shuttling the mic to and I was like oh like I don't know who does that and she's like yeah like there's there's a role like you know and it's like so that was the first like just smack in the face like oh this you know maybe i i was biting off a little too much um but uh thankfully she was uh 
I mean, just a, a savior in that sense. Like, you know, like all of the cracks I had in the plan, she just was out there like filling them in. So, I mean, she was like, you know, my counterpart. Uh, and I think we worked really well, which was awesome. Um, so that was the biggest thing that is like, you know, not just the races, like all that takes a ton of work and like managing people's personalities and schedules. And, you know, they were all wonderful, but it's just, you know, little things that start to add up where then I wasn't able to maybe do other things that I thought I had time for. So suddenly Thursday night came around or Thursday, like, and we had some, uh, you know, you know, maybe course marking issues. And I spent like nine hours out on the course, um, like just trying to mark things additionally when I should have been in the, in the like vendor expo welcoming people. And like, so I, I felt like I was already like a little behind uh, the ball there, but, uh, Thankfully, like our team, just like wherever there was a like a void, someone would step in. And like when I saw the void, I'd step in. So I think we just all worked really well together. I find it interesting because um, there's like Tim Tolson, kind of the, the figure that's putting this whole thing on. And a lot of people are coming to this weekend because of wanting to be part of it and knowing that you've kind of led this amazing like weekend and um it's the first kind of official year um and yeah talking to Kara and Mammoth Mountain was amazing to work with just from all of our perspective but uh you know it's like you've got Tim the personality and then Tim who's also trying to do all the organizing and all the flagging and all the things as well and it's really hard to delegate um and you probably <laughs> feel like after this year you've learned a ton about what you can do and what you can't do but like watching you walk through the village it was like tim 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 <laughs> like everybody wanted to say hi of course they do right they're there because they're excited they want to talk to you they want to tell you about their experience and it's really hard to like be that person and absorb all of that but then also be the person at the finish line greeting every single person running around i mean even during billy's um, movie night, like you were up on the stage doing a Q and A, and you were also on the phone trying to track down <laughs> runners, <laughs> which was, I mean, really funny and really endearing, and just showed like how many balls you had in the air. Um, but yeah, you must feel kind of like uh, a recognition of what you can take it, on and what you can't take on. Oh, for sure, and and I think I I had to go through this one year to appreciate that um, because people and and you know I mean it, it definitely like it must be overstated like. I had like my fingers and all those things, but I had so many great supporters, like, you know, that were assisting or actually just taking those roles um, throughout the weekend. Like, you know, so it, uh, it felt like I, I was trying to, you know, like, or I was being like pulled every direction. Um, but uh, over the last couple of months, people have, you know, offered to help or like, you know, other race directors, like, you know, I've chatted with them, but because it is all new to me, I one didn't even know the questions to ask, like, you know, okay, you know, Craig, or you're going to give me your time, but like, I don't even know where to start. Like, so <laughs> I had this like insecurity of, okay, like, like I have to like pretend like I know what I'm doing, you know, like, and, and if I like ask him something, he's going to like, I know he wouldn't, but in my mind, it's like, oh, he's going to be like this guy, like, what is he thinking? Like he, he's woefully ill-prepared. Um, but, uh, and then, you know, people that want to volunteer, I didn't know what I was asking them to do necessarily. So I had a hard time with that where it's like, oh, Hillary, you, you want to, you know, let's say, say take social. I'm like, oh, well, I don't know if that's going to take 80 hours or if you could do this in two hours. And, and because like, you know, it's a brand new event and like, I don't know budgets or anything. And like, I had a really hard time like letting people necessarily come in. So I felt like I, I had that like kind of, you know, I was probably hoarding too many things um, and the hustle was like insanely high. But now that I am on the back end, I can appreciate where like where I have limitations and where uh, I really need you to step in or, you know, I, I, I think next year it'll be much better where I, I will be, you know, better prepared to ask for the help and hire people the way we should. Um, and so I'm like really grateful for this experience. And I almost feel like it had to happen that way so that now like I, I can appreciate each role you know, from, from the marketing to the website design, to the social media, to the ops, to the marketing, to whatever, you know, fill in the blank, um, the volunteer coordinating the, the panelists. Like I, I now like know how all of those work. And I think that will really help moving forward. But it, it was, everyone around me was like, wait, who's your, this person, who's your, I was like, um, I don't <laughs> think me. I have, I don't <laughs> think I, that's me. And then it's like, oh, I guess I can't respond to the 300 emails the night before the race also. Like, and I'm like, oh, okay. Like, yeah. But uh, thankfully, you know, it had again, a, a absolutely banger team here in Mammoth. And I think that just is a testament to our community. Like that's what we do. We try and support our own. And, and I think that was I mean, my favorite thing about this was that, you know, it was built from our community for our community and it excites me for the future.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was going to ask you about some of your, um, since we talked about some of the pitfalls or potential pitfalls that you didn't foresee, just like some of your takeaways from this favorite moment from this weekend of like, what were some of your favorite moments? And um, no doubt the community part of it was huge. And you really emphasized that not only community, but like diversity in community from Sierra Pride group that was there to the cultural dancers that you brought in from Mexico or, or the Mexican influenced and, and just and the public lands talk. So all of that was just a lot packed into mm-hmm. three days, but you made it happen. You pulled it off. And, um, you know, I think in lieu of Tim Tollefson, the athlete who didn't have the best summer or the summer to your <laughs> potential uh, and UTMB was just something that was beyond your control with COVID. How much did this past weekend feed your soul as Tim Tollefson, the person who had, by all accounts, for your caliber, a disappointing summer? Yeah, my my year overall, basically the last six months was rubbish. <laughs> um, it it uh, I mean it it far exceeded my expectations. And on this end of it, I I mean I feel uh, like more satisfied and just like overall contentment and like joy than I have after any race myself. Mm-hmm. You know, more than th- like podiums at UTMB. And I think a lot of that has to do with just like the intention behind the efforts, you know, my intentions behind maybe some of my biggest personal race efforts, you know, weren't always driven like, you know, with the, like, I don't know, may, maybe the, the most healthy out or like the most healthy path. And, and this time it was really about like, Hey, I, I know what our goals are. I I've like, I've written them down. I, you know, and, and we're trying to just like, you know, start working towards that. And, and I think, you know, as someone that loves the sport, um, it's, it's really, as an athlete, it's it's a, it's a finicky thing. Like you have a finite number of years to have a body that's going to perform at a level that in your mind or externally, like can accomplish things and like allow you to be validated. And then like, as opposed to like creatives, like singers, or, you know, you know, or someone that's dependent on like more just the creative work, you almost indefinitely can do that. Like there's, there's not like an end, like you can keep creating, you can keep, you know, writing music, you like, and, and as an athlete, you don't have that. And I think that on, like on this side of like the, like the, you know, whatever we call this, like, you know, the trail fest, like it excites me because it's something I hope I could do forever. Like keep, you know, keep pouring my, my heart into it and I, you know, make changes and like, you know, be thoughtful with the, the growth of it. Um, but you know, I, I like creating things and, and this was just a ton of fun to create. Um, and, and then being able to watch others have those moments that like all of us as athletes have had, like was more rewarding than, you know, cross and finish on yourself. And then selfishly, I got to watch, you know, 600 people do that, like in a single day, like that's, that's pretty awesome, you know? And, um, and so, yeah, I, I think it, uh, it made up for the disappointments in my own personal running career. Um, and, uh, and also just kind of, uh, reminded me that there is so much more to, like this sport than just our own personal endeavors. And, and obviously any of us that have volunteered at races feel the same way. Like, it's like, you know, okay, maybe my race didn't go well, but it's so cool to still be there supporting someone else. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's so interesting. And something I was actually chatting with Billy about before we hopped on with you, but um, that experience, I mean, as a photographer, I'm on the other side of the finish line a lot. And it's such a unique perspective to see everybody finish, like not just the first person, but the last person. Um, And it's something that I love is that you did take the time to be there at the finish line for pretty much everybody. Like you were at every race start, you were at every finish for like as much of it as you could. And I could see that you got a lot out of seeing everybody cross the finish line. Um, There was times when you were like visibly moved by someone's finish or their story. (laughs) And I do think it's really fascinating. And I'm curious to know if that'll have an impact on your racing going forward just that perspective shift of seeing like you know all these different people out there having different days at different levels of ability but all pushing themselves to the best of their ability um I mean I certainly have found for myself it's totally reframed how I see racing how I see the experience and the celebration of the accomplishment um but for you like this whole weekend was really just like a a different look at something that you've known from a certain perspective very well it, it, I think it was, uh, is just what I needed. Um, because I, we, we all do get wrapped into the importance of our own race and we should, because it's important to us. Like you train for it, it's meaningful, but I think at the same time, 
you know, being cognizant that there are parallel important like moments going on and that if we just fall short of one, it, uh, it doesn't, it shouldn't rob you of the overall experience or being able to share in other people's joy. Um, and, uh, and I do, you know, to your you guys' early point in the 26 K I was being pulled way too thin and I missed some people's like finishes and I apologize to anyone that that was the case. And then we, as a like, you know, core group, we sat down, we're like, Hey, and I, I was like, I need to be at the finish for every finisher. And they're like, okay, well then we'll take your radio. If anything happens that has to be like dealt with that we can't do, we'll just come get you. And then thankfully, like, you know, the last like five hours of the 26 K I was just posted. And I was like, okay, that's just, like, it was like, this is where I'm supposed to be. Um, but uh, yeah, it was, it was really special. And I mean, I mean, it, uh, what was really neat also is uh, um, one of the, uh, the ops guys on our team um, for the mountain, uh, Kevin, he's, you know, he's been around for a long time. And afterwards we were chatting and this was at even the dragon's back, um, the, the final race. And he said, he was just impressed how like my energy for the final finisher was the same as the first. And he's never seen that before. And, and I said, Oh, well, like, you know, that's kind of what our community is like it, you know, you could be DFL or you could have set the course record. Like, you know, no one's more special than the other. And I think it's important that we remind people of that. Like, I mean, I, I was stoked for Chad, like he took my course record on that, that route, you know, but, uh, it's, uh, like, it's no more impressive than the, the woman that was last, you know? And I think that it's, a uh, that just in, like really like, you know, embodies what our, our community is about. Yeah, that stoke and that love was definitely palpable. And I'm so on the other side of it, just beaming with pride since, you know, I've seen you at the beginning of your foray into this crazy sport that is ultra running and to see where you've grown as a person, as a runner, but also as a personality in this sport to see you giving back in this way was so just like it warmed my heart. It really did. <laughs> you mentioned next year, you're already scheming and planning about next year what do we have oh, look, to look forward to in 2023 yeah i mean i i guess uh i just had like a, a debrief meeting with with someone and uh i was like the thing you'll have to know about me is like i'm a dreamer like i i believe i can do anything um and i get that from my mom um and uh but like sometimes just like pull me back to reality if if you think it's you know not attainable at least at this moment and then we'll work towards it um but uh yeah i um I, I'm actually like really practicing trying to just be present and live in this moment because like, I think what just happened was really special and, um, and we'll never get that back, you know? So the impermanence of this weekend is something I want to cherish because uh, I do have a lot of ideas for next year. And, and, uh, and I think, you know, my hope is that like now we have proof of concept that uh, like others that I reached out to for this year that didn't believe in me, like they like will see it. And the people that did believe in me, they'll double down on like their belief. And, uh, and so I, I think with, you know, resources, we could, uh, like grow this thoughtfully into something that like, will just be even more like inclusive and exciting. Um, so that, that jazzes me up. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just want to, again, like be respectful of our community and, and like with anything that, you know, does shift and change, like, uh, like just kind of be cognizant of that, but, and then like all the lessons, I mean, I learned, I want to like hundreds of things that I'm like, oh, I just, <laughs> I, we just like, that was a no brainer. And obviously like first timer, like, and the mountainside, like their ops team is first time their their ski snowboard, big events, concerts, you know, like trail is new to everybody. So it was kind of fun though. It's like, we're all building this plane while we're flying. And I think it's, uh, it's special that way. Like, you know, obviously could brought in professionals to like, you know, just hammer it down, but there's something neat about like just getting your hands and just building it yourself. And, and, uh, and I love it. So I, I think next year we, we got some big things coming. Um, and, uh, and the, I mean, what really just like reinforce it was like people that were here they're like hey is registration gonna open like next week i was like ha, ah, i don't know i don't even know how that works <laughs> I, I i need to like talk to my forest service again and like see if we can get a per like so all these things that i don't know still which i i know what i don't know and i don't know a lot but i know where my intentions are and i know that our community wants this and uh and so it just gets me fired up i i think it's it's going to be like an annual thing that we all just you know look forward to this gathering in the sierra uh and it was yeah it was beautiful and thank you guys for being part of it Oh my God, Tim, it was yeah. such a pleasure. Like the, the trail community really felt strong. I think everybody was behind you 
supporting you. And that's like what makes trail running so magical. And that's probably what that events guy, Kevin was noticing was that there's a huge supportive community for everybody out there. Like it doesn't matter if you're the first place or the last place. And um, so it was really special and such a good reminder, especially after the last few years of just how important that community is. And I think everyone has this huge appetite for more of that. So for you to create a space where we can just build that is really exciting. Yeah, Thanks. as that person said in the audience, if you build oh, it, man. they will come and yeah. come they did. And I can't wait to yeah. see how the, the other ideas, not just bigger and better, but just some of the other ideas that you already worked into year number one, how you're going to expand upon that and get more people involved in the sport from the kids run, which was like probably my personal oh, highlights so to cute. the 26K, yeah. the Dragon's Back Ascent, the 50K. I don't know how you did it, Tim, but congratulations. It was an amazing weekend. I am so thrilled. I speak on both of myself and Hillary and all the other media people that it was an honor and pleasure to be a part of. Uh, thank you guys, honestly, from the bottom of my heart. It, it, it meant a lot having you guys there. So, yeah. We would not have missed it. <laughs> we'll be there thank next you, year. You. So, it better, better be back bigger and better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Be awesome. Uh, thank you all.